So I said I wouldn't spend a lot of time on you A shame we'll never get to fight no. But the fire of the sun, I swear I see you How can a man have eyes so bright? Nani, nani, nani Hello everybody, today I'm going to do very long overdue swatches of the Hera Spicy Nude Lip Color Collection. Now as you can tell from the name, this is primarily a series of very natural looking neutral beige undertoned or sort of rosy natural hues for the lips. And they come in primarily two kinds of formulas. One is this sort of a tube gloss, Spicy Nude Gloss, and the other is a stick, Spicy Nude Balm. There are currently four Spicy Nude Glosses and six shades of Spicy Nude Balm, making a total of 10 colors. As you can see, these come in the most beautiful blush nude packaging. It looks so luxe and so refined, very, very classy and posh looking. It's probably my favorite packaging that Hera has come out with to date. Before I go straight into the lip swatches, I do want to point out that this whole series emphasizes the shiny texture and comfort as well as lip care benefits and properties more so than intense colors. So while some of these do have slightly stronger color as well, for the most part, you're going to get pretty soft, natural looking tones and not a whole lot of opacity or intensity. Also, you may want to bear in mind that these have quite a strong minty tingle on the lips, so they have slight plumping properties as well, and they bring a little bit of a flush to the lips by drawing the blood or circulation out. While it's not as strong and tingly as traditional lip products are, and it doesn't sting or hurt the lips, believe me, I hate traditional lip plumping products. Um, I do feel a need to point that out because there will be some of you who do not like that tingly sensation.
what do I think of these? I think they're very beautiful texture. This is a very nice series of lip colors for daily casual wear, going to the office, Sunday out and all that. Now these stick balms definitely have a much stronger tingle than the gloss. So if you happen to dislike that kind of tingly sensation, you may want to pick up the gloss instead. This has more of a gentle cooling sensation on the lips. Definitely nowhere as minty as these are. Again, I want to emphasize that these do not sting. They just have a minty tingle which is a little bit stronger in this formula. I have to say it is pretty rare for a Korean brand to come up with a whole series of neutral or brown based tones. They are very much more likely to go for bright corals, strong fuchsias, apple or cherry reds than tones such as these which I find universally flattering and very easy to wear regardless of what skin tone you have. Uh, if I had to pick some of my favorites, the first one would be 429 Naked Almond. Now, this is a beautiful soft muted orangey beige brown sort of a tone. It's very wearable but I would say this is a shade that works much better for neutral to warmer skin tones or golden undertones. Now, I'm not one for light pink tones usually but this one is just beige enough to be really flattering on the skin and it also is just translucent enough for your natural skin undertone to show through a little bit so you do not look sick. It doesn't look strange and weird on your skin like you know, the 90s Barbies pinks used to look. The third shade is 488 Hit Me and this is a nice mocha brown with a little bit of a warmth and rosiness to it but not so much that it's no longer brown. It's quite a rare shade for a Korean company to come up with because they typically do not like this kind of a brown tone but if you have a medium skin tone, caramel skin or if you are pale and you like more neutral tones and browns, very 90s kind of a color, this is a beautiful beautiful shade. As for these spicy nude glosses, all these shades were beautiful but I do have to say I am partial to these two in particular. The first is 105 Curious Boy. Now on first sight, this was a shade that I was sure would not look nice at all. It's kind of like a pale candy doll pink. I was expecting it to make me look sick but it was surprisingly pretty. Again probably because it has just enough sheerness in it for your natural skin undertones to show through and it also has a little bit more beige or neutral tones in it than it looks like it would have in the tube. The other shade was 462 Speechless. Now this is one of the deeper brown tones but it's not really deep. It's more of a caramel, brownie, rich, rosy beige. So my lips but better but with a little bit more of a peachy coral tone to it. So it's very pretty, it's very girly. It is not too dark, not too brown, not too dulling and it's not gonna make your teeth look too yellow. Obviously these being balms and glosses, do not expect whole day wear from these formulas. You will need to touch up after eating and drinking but I don't really mind because you know these are just so 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 comfortable on the lips that I don't mind reapplying. Now I do have one minor critique for these spicy new glosses and that is the doe foot applicator. Now it comes with this sort of a curved shape, almost like a scoop. You primarily use this curved convex side to apply product onto the lip and I found myself dipping in multiple times just to cover my entire mouth and I do not have big lips to begin with. So that is it for my very quick overview and lip swatches of the Hera Spicy Nude Lip Range. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some colors you liked. As always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!